All right, folks, today we've got some pretty, pretty cool news about OpenAI Strawberry. But that's not all. Make sure to stick around because later in the video, I'll be sharing some juicy updates on the next version of ChatGPT, which, as it stands, should be called GPT Next. So folks, basically, as I mentioned in a previous video from a few days ago that I recommend you catch up on just in case you missed it, OpenAI is about to drop not one but two game-changing models that could totally shake up the world of machine learning. Now, these projects, codenamed Strawberry and Orion, are said to push AI even further, especially when it comes to reasoning, problem solving and language processing. And honestly, folks, I think this could be one of the next big steps towards achieving artificial general intelligence, AGI. Do you agree with this notion? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, I think it's safe to say that Strawberry, which used to go by the name QSTAR or Q-STAR, isn't just your average chatbot because basically it can truly take AI's reasoning skills to the next level. According to insiders like Reuters and The Information, this model has been crushing complex math problems and improving its logical analysis in ways we haven't seen before. And this, well, there's no other word for it but impressive. Then we've got Orion, which is lined up to be OpenAI's new flagship language model, potentially replacing our beloved GPT-4, because it's designed to outperform its predecessor by a mile, especially when it comes to understanding and generating language. And another cool thing is that it can also handle multimodal inputs, which means that it's ready to work with not just text, but images and videos too. Now, folks, you probably all knew I was going to say this, but both of these projects have caught the eye of U.S. national security officials, which, I mean, I guess it really highlights just how strategically important they could be, if we can put it that way. And this comes, you know, at a time when OpenAI is still raising capital, even though their revenue has been skyrocketing. And this should come as no surprise because of the massive costs tied to developing and training these highly advanced models. Now, guys, let's talk Strawberry and its reasoning power. First off, despite all the buzz and non-stop speculation online, OpenAI hasn't made any official statements about Project Strawberry, but some supposed leaks suggest it's all about advanced reasoning capabilities. And this sounds absolutely fascinating because unlike the typical models that spit out quick responses, Strawberry is said to use what researchers call System 2 thinking. So it doesn't just predict longer strings of text, but it actually takes time to think and work through problems like a real human being would do. And the results speak for themselves because the model reportedly crushed it on the math benchmark, scoring over 90% on a set of complex math problems, according to Reuters. So here's my take, folks. This system two thinking thing is huge because basically we're talking about an AI that's not just giving you a quick answer, but actually thinking through the problem, just like we do when we solve complex stuff. So this could be a real game changer, especially in fields like mathematics or even programming, where accuracy and logical thinking are everything. I mean, crushing it on the math benchmark with over 90% is just mind-blowing. And let's be real, this level of advanced reasoning is something we've all been waiting for for quite a while. I mean, even Sam Altman said that sometimes ChatGPT can give you dumb responses. So hopefully this is a sign that we are moving forward, away from basic chatbot to something that could handle real-world complex tasks, especially in industries that need precision. Moving on, one of the standout innovations we're expecting from Strawberry is its ability to generate high-quality synthetic training data because this helps tackle a big issue in AI development. Basically, there's just not enough diverse, top-notch data to train models, and if everything we've been hearing about Strawberry is true, Strawberry could not only boost its own capabilities, but also set the stage for even more advanced models like Orion or our much-beloved and awaited for GPT-5. So, given the vast amounts of data OpenAI has already scraped, combined with the growing privacy movement from users who don't want their data fed into AI systems, this feature could be a massive step forward for future models. It's kind of like how some users today train their own custom models with images made through stable diffusion. 
That said, strawberry slower, more thoughtful processing approach might be tricky for real-time applications because OpenAI researchers are reportedly working on distilling strawberries' capabilities, which basically means lowering its quality so that consumers can run tons of inferences without burning through massive computing power. And even so, if Strawberries Tech gets integrated into consumer-facing products like ChatGBT, it could seriously boost how OpenAI trains its new models. However, it's also possible that OpenAI might use Strawberry as a base for training future models, rather than rolling it out for consumers to use directly. Now folks, as I promised at the beginning of the video, let's talk about Project Orion, or what some are calling GPT next. So basically, Orion should be OpenAI's bold successor to ChatGPT 4.0, and it's setting out to raise the bar in language AI because in a recent presentation, Tadao Nagasaki, the CEO of OpenAI Japan, hinted that this model could be named GPT Next. So basically, building on the breakthroughs from Project Strawberry, Orion is built to dominate natural language processing with the added bonus of multimodal capabilities. And according to OpenAI, this isn't going to be just a small upgrade. Quote, The upcoming AI model, likely to be called GPT Next, will evolve nearly 100 times more than its predecessor, judging by past performance, Nagasaki mentioned at the KDDI Summit 2024 in Japan, as reported by IT Media. Then he went on to state, Unlike traditional software, AI technology grows exponentially. Therefore, we want to support the creation of a world where AI is integrated as soon as possible. Now, here's what's really getting me excited, folks. You heard that right. Nagasaki said this model will evolve nearly 100 times more than its predecessors. And that's an insane growth when you think about it. And what's even more mind-blowing is that it isn't just about speeding things up, because it's exponential growth. I mean, we're talking about an AI model that can integrate and process text, images, and videos all at once, building upon itself, and at a level we've never seen before. So, yeah, training Orion on data generated by Strawberry could give OpenAI a very serious edge. But, as always, there is a catch. Too much synthetic data could actually cause models to degrade. So essentially finding the right balance where Strawberry strengthens Orion without messing up its accuracy is going to be key if OpenAI wants to stay on top. Basically, Orion's built-in multimodal capabilities are set to be a major leap forward because this model is being designed to effortlessly handle text, images, and even video inputs and outputs according to the information. And this opens up a whole new range of possibilities for ChatGPT users and puts OpenAI in direct competition with Google's Gemini, which, as you all know, can process up to two hours of video input. My guess is this is the model that users will interact with, whether they use ChatGPT or OpenAI's API Playground. Now, if we pass this all out, folks, I think the development of Orion fits perfectly with OpenAI's broader strategy to stay ahead in a rapidly growing AI space. Because if you think about it, with open source models like Meta's Llama 3.1 and top tier models like Claude or Gemini making strides, Orion is probably OpenAI's way of staying at the front of the pack. And personally, I'm willing to spend a little bit of extra time if it means getting better quality output. Getting mediocre responses from ChatGPT in a fraction of a second doesn't make much sense. Plus, I think all these new developments could serve as the foundation for what will eventually become GPT-5 in whatever form that ends up taking. It's an interesting time to be in, and I'm very curious about what to expect from Strawberry and Co. But I'd, I'd really like to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, drop some comments below. On top of that, all that's left to be said is hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And you know what I'm going to say. See you in the next one, folks. You all take care.